Brian Lillis the Rebberger. We seem to have a little bit of trouble getting to Brian Williams here. Not sure what's going on. Um, are we gonna take a quick break? Yes, we will. And we'll get Brian. And we'll be right back. Good evening. I'm Melissa Rebberger in for Brian Williams. We're trying to sort out a little bit of an issue. Ah, uh, with, ah, uh, thank you, Sharon. Can you, not in my inner please? It is day 36 of the Biden administration, and now comes the hard part. Much more in all of this after this break. Melissa Rebberger, how dare you fill in for Brian Williams and fade in two instant commercial breaks just because of technical issues. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for life. Go to your disgusting ass pics me now. Good evening once again. I'm Boris O'Donnell. We're still having some technical problems with Brian Williams' camera position. We hope to get him back at some point in the summer. As many of you know, what we do here before the commercial break is called a tease. This is my favorite tease that I've really had ever before a commercial break. Brian will be back after this break, and H is going to join us. I indeed did not ask for 23 minutes off tonight. A brief explanation of what happened to us. Our central control room appears to have gone the way of the Texas power grid. We have lost all of the incoming guest remotes from most of the people we were supposed to talk to tonight. Lawrence O'Donnell will get a little something extra in his paycheck at the end of the week for stepping up and stepping in and helping us out. He just thought he was out of the woods, but he's going to stick around for our discussion. And we've just managed to reconnect with former RNC chairman Michael Steele. One word of warning, the earpiece through which I usually hear our guests, the control room, the sound of our program has been rendered inert, along with the rest of our central control room, so I'm going to have to listen to the broadcast on a nearby speaker phone in case any of that sounds unusual. So, without further delay, we have Lawrence O'Donnell, we have Michael Steele, I told, standing by. <laughs> 